something's happened to the world. It began in our homes. A stalking, creeping thing that crawled into our beds and hid behind our doors. It began with our loved ones. The violence soon took to the streets, gleeful and enthusiastic. It exhausted the rescue services, it overran the military. For a time there was only noise and confusion, but now it's all gone silent. It's not too late, the world is still out there. The pieces can fit together again. I can save it, but not without help. And so I found you, a lone child in a quiet place. I'm glad you're here with me. I know where we have to go. I remember the room. I'll take us there right now. Just follow my voice. A small act should be enough. Great, that worked. Here we are. Uh, I, I know the whole situation's a little confusing right now, but all I need you to do is push the big red button. The one right over there. That's a funny looking device. Wonder what it does. Well, let's go ahead and keep that thing, you never know. Anyway, red button. Wait, this isn't right, what's going on? Did we miss something? Oh, come on, go. No, 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 no! Kiddo, you awake? Feeling all right? Good, good. That didn't quite work out back there, I'm sure you noticed. So there must be something else that needs taken care of first, and we should find out what that is. Try walking around for a bit. Let's get our bearings. Someone left something behind here. Break out that gizmo of yours. Let's see if we can find it. Okay. I'll admit that it's pretty fun to swing the hammer around. Not much room for that when you're keeping trains from crapping out. Still, they could at least get someone else down here to help hold the planks. There haven't been any newspapers for a while now, and the last ones all said pretty much the same. 
Disaster continues. Evacuate now. That sort of thing. Plenty of gossip magazines left, though, if you want to know who was dating whom before they lost themselves. I'm a train mechanic, not a railway worker. Someone's gotta fix the bridge. Fine. Get anyone to do it. I don't know any more about bridges than the next guy. Ah, I need a hit. Ah, last of the planks now. Can't wait to get out of here.
Huh. <sighs> Good enough. Should hold for people on foot at least. Hmm. The experience is different every time. Unique, like the, the shards of a broken window. But they're all like dreams at first, half forgotten and hazy. Then it becomes clear and it's like they're right next to you. Isn't that strange? Anyway, let's move along. There's more to be done. Park. Lush, tranquil, secluded. They built it for the view and the symbolism. And the utility. This is the city of Chernosk, where innovation is key and even the architecture is experimental. Let's have a look around the park. I think we're going to find something here. Maintenance. I don't see any stairs. This is a fire hazard. For the record, I did say this was the city of innovation and not the city of functioning utilities. Are you looking for someone? Mister? What are you doing? No! No! Help! Help!
It's him. Gotta be him with those golden glasses. He's been following us. I knew it. Did he see me? No, no, couldn't have. Oh God, Joyce! Where's Joyce? Keep your voice down, idiot. Yeah, I have it. What do you have? Lorazepam. Here, look. 24 doses, and it's popular already. We set up a trust fund for Joyce when she was born. Assorted stocks and assets, but mostly shares from the Institute. Part of the annual bonus packages. It's all worthless now, unless someone goes back there. And no one is ever going back there. Riho, I'm sorry. It was my fault. I wanted Eagle View to work out for us, but I should have listened to you. Joyce asks about you every day, and I tell her you'll come as soon as you're done helping out there. She smiles, and I see you in her eyes. A gun? You bought a gun? For our safety. There's no telling who's after us or where they are now. You saw what happened. <laughs> Look, I'll leave it here. Someone shows up, you know where to find it. It wasn't my fault. It, it was him. He followed us here. Coward! Damn you, I should have known. All you ever do is run. Sama, wait. This isn't you. It's that thing. It's, it's still active. You know that. Selma! Selma, no! Do you think she wanted to do that? Or did she, in the moment between breaths, simply forget that she didn't? It's still active. That's what he said. 
Whatever happened to everyone is still happening. We gave Pavel and Salma some basic med kits in this house so they could start up a clinic of sorts. Said they were doctors, but not what kind exactly. Is that why someone targeted them? To sabotage us? No, doesn't explain the girl. just now. I could swear it was, and she had this huge bag. Can't be here for me. They hardly ever noticed I was even there, so... Oh no. They're going through with it. This stuff William was raving about. Do I tell someone? Arturo Montiel, 27 years old, says he knows where the guns are coming from and who killed Pavel, but won't spill a word until I guarantee his safety and comfort. I'll see what I can do. Poor bastard's been sleeping under a tree.
Drugs and weapons. Pills, needles, powders, uppers, downers, sheaves and switchblades. We've been confiscating this stuff for a long time now. But more of it keeps finding its way in. I can't help but wonder if there's a central supplier. They hate us. When we first came marching in, I think most of them were relieved. Then we had to stockpile the food so we could ration it. Then we had to crack down on the scent before it could take root. Now, they hate us. And who could blame them? When there was still some semblance of order, his platoon was assigned to a roadblock on the Chernosk Highway. The evacuation was to be orderly. As the lines grew longer, panic became anger. The cars are still there, a memorial to the greater good. How do you figure the Sarge keeps coming up with this stuff? Says he's tracking down hidden stashes. Do you care? No, not really. 